Hello, it is me, and today I'm very happy because my fairy loot box has arrived, and I cannot wait to get in this box and see all the fabulous items. I do believe the theme was like heist and theft or something like that, so let us, with our trusty pocket knife, get into it, shall we? So if you're unfamiliar with fairy loot, it's kind of like the UK equivalent of Owl, Gra Owl Crate. You get a special edition book and some fun monthly goodies every month. And here we go. Alrighty. So the first thing I see on top is a book sleeve. <gasps> and I do believe that it is themed by our book for this month. It is absolutely stunning. Look at this beautiful Art Nouveau kind of design. I absolutely love it. And then on the back it says, Vengeance Never Dies. I, um, that is really, really stunning design on the back because it is a pocket. And I absolutely love pockets on things. And this is really nice and plush and squishy. So I would almost say this would be good for if you're not using a physical book, maybe... A large tablet or an iPad would fit in here too and it would keep it nice and safe but again that is really stunning I'm gonna just set it right there for now all right next I see some packy peanuts those are just got bloop, on the floor right there all right next ooh, little velvety bag says fairy loot on it and let's see what we have here ooh <gasps> ooh okay <laughs> okay, I am absolutely thrilled when I look at looked at the spoilers and it said um, The Hobbit. I was hoping it would be something like this. It is a little sword replica of Bilbo's sting. Oh my gosh, I love it. And there's like some kind of glittery dust here, beautiful green enamel and brown enamel for the handle. The detailing is absolutely stunning. Um... Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, let's see. Do we fit right here? Maybe. Hopefully it doesn't fall over, because I'll probably jump or a nearby cat will jump. Next, another drawstring baggie. So far, so good on the items. Um, ooh. What on earth do we have here? Okay, so... I definitely think this is inspired by, yes, Legends and Latte charms. Oh no, is this what I think it is? We have Croc charms. No fooling. I, I haven't seen Croc charms since back in the, like, 2000s. But these are really cool. I might not do this one because I think it's weird to put, like, people on shoes, but this one is really, really cute. I'm gonna have to break out my good old Crocs, because, you know, me being me, I saved my, I think I had like four or five pairs of Crocs back in the day, and I definitely think these will look really cute on the pink pair. Oh my goodness. Have, have, am I really that old that Crocs are now back in fashion? Um, comment down below if you too feel old seeing things like Crocs coming back in fashion. Okay, next, ooh, we have a lovely tin. Oh, I think this is from the Ballad of Never After. I think it says, never fall in love with a fate. Stephanie Garber, really, really lovely tin. Really nice quality and very pretty. Oh, and it's like a little sneak peek. It says little fox right there. So definitely a tea tin. Oh, I definitely have some nice um, loose leaf tees that will be very nice and secure in here. So I'm gonna set that right there. Oh, this is really, really heavy. So a gray beer soap dish. Okay, okay, need trusty pocket knife again because it's taped shut. Doo -doo -doo. I definitely think this was a little bit late in coming, but I definitely think so far it's worth it. Wow. This is stunning. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really heavy. Although, I don't know how I feel about it having holes in the bottom. Because, like, if I'm setting this on 
like a sink that might have a porous material, like we have a wooden vanity, um, then it's just gotta get the wood wet. I love this idea. I just wish it didn't have the drain holes. Maybe this will go nice next to the bathtub, but that is beautiful. I love the two um, rampant lions on there. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's see. Do we have any more paper items? Yes, we do. We have our monthly cards. So here are this month's. Very interesting. We have the Queen of Moons and the King of Moons. Very interesting. Very beautiful um, artwork design here. Oh, and I see a certain royalty right here. Excuse me, madame. Madame. One moment, please. Speaking of royalty, her, her majesty has returned. Although, you're not as interested as you were in the goodies in the Sakuriko box, were you? But she has made an appearance, her royal fluffiness, and her royal fluffiness is now gone away, of course. Um, so here we have a little spoiler card. Um, heist and Hustles, that's what it was. And... Doo -doo -doo, right here, Hobbit, yes. Okay, so the tarot cards were inspired by the Gilded Wolves, that's why they look so familiar. So, here's our lovely little spoiler card, and it's time for our book! Which I'm very excited for. Okay, here we go. Do, do, do. You get to be first to see it. I don't know what it's all look like. Tell me, is it gorgeous? Is it stunning? Ooh, the back is really pretty. Ooh, lovely. Okay, so here's our book. It is A Tempest of Tea, which um, there's going to be yet another um, battle of the books going to happen because I didn't realize soon enough that this was going to be the book for this month because I ordered the special edition that Owl Crate came out with. So when that arrives, we'll do a comparison. But this one is really um, very nice. I love the color choices. The gold is stunning. The sprayed edges, very, very nice. Um, nothing on the top or on the bottom. Let's see what our end pages look like. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, that is interesting. There's um, there's no words on our little leaf leaf doohickey thing. What do you what do you call that insert? The insert normally where it gives a synopsis for the um, book, but here is our end pages. Three nights. Those must be our characters. Let's see. Oh, lovely. Here is our naked book. No reversible dust jacket design. So there's our spine and then our back of a book. I love that. I might display this without the um, dust jacket on for once because that is absolutely stunning. And then again, nothing on this side. So here's a different end page. And then we have a little, what is that, an umbrella? Interesting, right there. And then do we have any maps or anything? Um, no, we have reviews. Um, this is also the author that wrote um, We Hunt, Hunt the Flame and We Free the Stars series. And doo -doo -doo, here's our letter from the author right there. And ooh, we do. We have a map that is absolutely lovely. I love when there's a really good map because it helps um, place things. Ooh. Well, the end paper art or chapter art. Interesting. Oh, okay. So there's no digital signature on the front, unless they're including the letter from the author being the digital signature. Um, interesting. But there it is. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, let's see if this will give a little synopsis of it. Our featured book of the month is A Tempest of Tea, set in a rich reimagining of 1920s London. Our main character and her fellow misfits navigate their way through a tangled web of heist and conspiracy in a dark vampire underworld. Get ready for an enemies to lover romance, secret vampire societies, and of course, tea. Okay, that is awesome. If I remember right, um, she runs a tea house by day, and then it's a, like, a vampire blood house by night. I think that's what it is. Um, also, we have our little fairy scoop and our bookmark. 
So, yes, so here's our interview with our author and some other books that are coming out. And then our next theme is Dark Domains. And it will have items inspired by Belladonna, Fourth Wing, the Prison Healer, One Dark Window, and also the um, Featured Book of the Month. And they're also going to include the next set of art book overlays. Ooh, that is really cool. And two items that they have never done before. So there's, if it can get to focus, if you want to read some of the other information, like kind of like the spoilers for the book a little bit. There it is there. So, yeah. Um, I cannot wait to get reading the, into this. And I cannot wait now for next month when my Owl Crate edition arrives. And we can compare the two and see who redesigned the book better. So, that being said, um, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. And comment what your favorite item was. The one that definitely made me laugh the most was the croc charms because that was so totally unexpected that like that nostalgia wave totally hit me there so yeah thank you so much for watching everybody if you're interested in checking out another video you could go ahead and click here and if you're interested in becoming a channel member you can hit that button down below and help support my channel or if you just want to hit that button right there and subscribe so that you never miss my videos again that is also an option so that being said thanks so much for watching everybody and I will tempest to you all later <laughs> already thanks so much for watching everybody and I will see you all later bye